Okay, so once again sticking with our little fetish for really useful boxes, what we have here is 42 litres uh, of storage for our clothes. Okay, uh, these simply slot in, once again nice and secure, held in there. This side, passenger side, is Belinda's, far side is mine. Okay, stored down the bottom here also is the air compressor, easy access and a couple of little storage nets for different bits and pieces. In the back of each of the seats is a high-vis jacket which is a requirement for uh, Spain uh, and France. In fact most European companies are that you carry one for each person in the vehicle. Okay, um, just a silver foil here to uh, put up on the windscreen uh, for shade. Once again security uh, uh, tinted, these aren't tinted, they're actually screens that fit on here but also they come off very easily but also allow you to actually have the windows open while still giving it some shade. Because you don't always want to get the big cooker out each time we have a meal also just tucked in behind the fridge here and accessible through here is a small uh, single burner camping runoff bottles and we carry some spare bottles in the spares thing Okay, and that just drops back in down there, and the light for hanging up in the roof tent. One other light we have on its own bracket I made here is this, which is a 12 volt one, which is absolutely ideal, caravan light, clips onto the roof rack there, and is used when the awning is up. It also will swing round and, and clip into the uh, the back to be able to light the, the uh, kitchen area up as well. 13 watt, quite heavy on uh, electricity on, on the battery, so uh, I do intend to probably replace this with a, with an LED one at some time in the future. But it's one of those round turret jobs, and everything has its own place just to clip back into. And all I've done here is secured a, a length of wardrobe pole underneath the, the upper shelf and, and then it just clips in there and it's readily accessible. Now we'll just have a look at the, the slight difference there is on the other side. So on this side, very similar arrangement, 42 litre box uh, for securing my clothes but also on this side is the uh, freshwater filling system that runs through to a hundred litre water bladder which is in the footwell. Uh, although it's 100 litres because of the shape it forms it, it only holds about 45 litres but combined that runs through a tap through to the back door combined with the 20 litres that we have in the jerry can gives us about 65 litres of, of fresh drinking water on board which is, is quite a reasonable um, capacity. On top of that it runs through to a, a, a tea piece and just here we have the, the shower unit which as you can see is, is quite reasonable and quite good for giving you a, a, an overall wash in the morning. In fact this whole area uh, once this um, box has been removed I found it very comfortable to be able to put the washing bowl in there and be able to wash my hair uh, and so on with a bit, a little bit of privacy here. Now we have the, the pop-up dressing tent then that's going to give us that little bit more privacy and we can fit that into here. In addition on this side, in the same way that we had the uh, compressor nice and accessible on the other side, down here we have a sort of daily tool roll which has got some uh, instant tools, so pliers, screwdrivers, spanners, stuff that you might just want to do a quick fix by the side of the road in, a few cable ties, other bits and pieces, rather than getting the main toolbox out, that's just kept down here, nicely tucked away in there. Once again, another high-vis jacket on there. Uh, also stacked down the side here is um, oil bottles, so uh, 10 litres of, of fresh engine oil, which is sufficient for a full oil change, uh, plus also some uh, additional for, for topping up if, if necessary. On the top here, 
Uh, these are 12 volt battery chargers all acquired through eBay and Amazon for each of the different camera batteries so there's the two still cameras and the two video cameras these run into a, um, a 12 volt uh, supply down below which is run off the ignition so basically as soon as the engine starts then, base, then the, the, the batteries are charged easily accessible by Belinda from the, the far seat in the centre here also we have a 35 litre cubby box. This was deliberate there because we found when we went to Tunisia that we had just lots of stuff on the top. So this is just simply a place to put stuff. Um, easily accessible from the front, like I say, and also from the sides here. And we put uh, boots, sweet bags, um, other bits and pieces. Uh, we also kept most of our sort of prescription medication and things like that in there as well. Uh, hats uh, and so on. So it became quite a useful little uh, place. Over here, these are the PMR radios. Um, we use these exclusively when we're traveling with, with Atlas Overland. Very, very powerful, very good range on them. Um, and uh, these are just sitting here, once again, plugged into a charger. So constantly charging, um, one in use all the time. Very easy to just reach from the, the driver's or the passenger's seat.